Hey guys, I'm Eric Creel, and this is Amphibia, Disney Television Animation, Walt Disney Animation Studios, and Ultra Lounge Fan 2002, home of the Amphibia content. So, I here today to do my top 10 best Disney Television Animation shows of all time, which Disney Television Animation is my favorite television studio of all time. Because it has amazing animations filled with classic to modern and everywhere. So, let's start the top 10, shall we? Coming in at number 10 is 101 Dalmatian Street. Ah, yes. Such an amazing show. Because the story is amazing. The animation is awesome. And the characters are very amazing. Dylan... He's awesome. Dolly, she's amazing. The rest of the Dalmatian puppies are amazing. Including Cruella, which is appearance in the 26th episode of the first season. That's amazing. So, and the music scores look really cool. Including the opening theme looks really amazing. And the closing theme looks awesome. And that's why I put 101 Dalmatian Street for my number 10 spot. And now we're getting to the next 9 shows coming up. Because these next 9 shows, which I just don't give all 10 out of 10, but I gave them all infinity out of 10 to goes to show how amazing this television studio was. Coming in at number 9 is Wander Over Yonder. Ah yes! Amazing, brilliant masterpiece. One of the best Craig McCracken show I've ever had to watch this since Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Because I just watched that the first on Disney Plus when it was first premiered back in May 2021 for the complete series of Wander Over Yonder. It looks amazing. The animation is the best looking animation I've ever seen in the Craig Me Cracking show. The characters are amazing. Yonder, he's amazing, played by the same persons who played Fix It Felix from Wreck It Ralph, including Sylvia. She's awesome. Lord Hater, he's very amazingly hilarious, including Commander Peepers. He's cool. And especially Lord Dominator. She is an amazing villain. I love her. The rest of the characters look really amazing and the music scores look really awesome. The story looks very amazing. And that's why I put this for my number 9. Number 8, Phineas and Ferb. Ah, yes. So... The first time I watched this for the complete series online, way back when, after the last day of school, it looks amazing, and I revisited since on Disney XD to look how amazing it is, because the story looks amazing, the characters are very awesome, Phineas, he's cool, Ferb, he's amazing, Candace, she's incredible, Isabella, She's really nice. Lindana, she looks amazing. Lawrence, he's really awesome. And including Dr. Heinz Stufenschmerz. He's very silly. Including Agent P, a.k.a. Perry the Platypus. He's awesome. The rest of the characters look really amazing. And the music scores looks awesome. And the songs in the episodes look really awesome. So, well deserved for my number 8 spot. Welcome to the Mystery Shack for my number 7 spot, Gravity Falls. Ah yes, the best show of 2012. Which is the first time I watched this on Disney Plus for the complete series. Which is May 21st, 2020. The same day because my mom's birthday. And then I revisited since on Disney XD, and it looks awesome. The story looks amazing. The animation is epically awesome. The characters we have 
Dipper, he's amazing. Mabel, she is so cute and adorable. Grunkle Stan, he's awesome. Stanford Pines, he's really amazing. Seuss, he's incredibly hilarious. Wendy, she is so suave and attractive. The rest of the characters are really amazing and the music scores look really intense and incredible. And that's why I put Gravity Falls for my number 7 spot. And I forgot to mention to talk about Bill Cipher. He's an amazing villain. And that's why I put this show for my number 7 spot. Number 6, Milo Murphy's Law. Ah uh, yes, the best one out of the Phineas and Ferb universe. That the first time I watched this online for my iPad and my gaming computer to look how amazing it is. Because the animation is amazing. The characters are awesome. Milo, he's amazing. Including Melissa. She looks really attractive, same as Wendy from Gravity Falls. The rest of the characters look really amazing. And the music scores look really cool. The story looks really awesome. And that's why I put Milo Murphy's Law for my number six choice. And now we're halfway there to the top five shows. These are the next five shows because I like to call the Disney Magnum Opus. At my number five spot, Big City Greens. Ah yes, this show is amazing. When it first premiered on Disney Channel way back when on Monday, June 18th, 2018, which I did watch this when it first premiered. And I revisited it since on Disney Channel and Disney XD. It looks amazing. The story looks awesome. The animation is amazing. The characters, we have Cricket. He's awesome. Tilly, she is amazing. Bill, he's cool. Alice, she's amazing grandmother. And here we have Nancy. She's Amazingly incredible. The rest of the characters look really amazing, including Remy. He's a really nice friend. And the music scores look very awesome. And that's why I put Big City Greens for my number five spot. It's going to get a little weird and going to get a little wild for my number four spot. Star versus the Forces of Evil. Ah, yes. Amazing, brilliant masterpiece. Because Star vs. the Forces of Evil, this show I just watch on my YouTube for my every fan bases react to it. Back in the last October 2018 and revisited more than ever on October 2019 and revisited some of the episodes on Disney XD. Back in April 2020 through June 2021 and it looks amazing. The animation is the best looking animation I've ever seen in a Darren Nefsey show. The story looks really amazing. The characters we have Star Butterfly. She is so cute and adorable. And here we have Marco Diaz. He's awesome and I do ship Starco. The rest of the characters look really amazing. And the music scores look very amazing. And I'm proud to call Star vs. the Forces of Evil for my number four spot. At number three is The Ghost and Molly McGee. Ah uh, yes, best show of this year that I just watched on Disney Channel when its first premiere back in October 1st and revisited since on Disney Plus and Disney Channel. It looks really amazing. The story looks awesome. The animation is amazing. The characters we have Molly McGee. She is one of the cutest, most adorable main female character I've ever had in my life. She is even more adorable than Star Butterfly. Scratch looks really hilarious. And I love how Dana Snyder, who played legendarily as Scratch, the same actress who played Master Shake from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. And the rest of the characters look really amazing, and the music scores looks awesome, and the songs in the episodes are spectacular. And I love to put the ghost and Molly McGee for my number three spot. 
Number two, the Owl House. Ah, oh, yes. Really awesome. When it's first premiere on Disney Channel back in January 10th, 2020, which I already did watch this, and revisited since on Disney Plus, Disney Channel, and Disney XD. That looks awesome. The animation is very amazing. The story looks cool. The characters are awesome. Luz Nasida, she looks really amazing at the best. King, he is so cute and adorable. Ida, she looks really amazing. Amity, she looks awesome. Widow, she's very wonderful. Gus, he looks amazing. The rest of the characters look awesome and the music scores look really cool. The action scenes are very epic. And that's why I put the Owl House for my number two. And now, time for the number one, my number one choice, which is my favorite show of all time, and as well as my favorite Disney show I've ever seen in my life, for my number one best Disney show of all time has to be Amphibia. Ah, yes. I love Amphibia. Amphibia, because this is, without a doubt, the best show of all time. I was watching when it's first premiered on Disney Channel back in June 9, I mean June 17th, 2019, and I revisit it more than ever on Disney Plus, Disney Channel, and Disney XD to look how amazing it is. The story looks really awesome. The animation is the best looking animation I've ever seen in the Disney show. The characters we have Anne Boon Shui. She is the most attractive and adorable and cutest main character I've ever had in my life. She is my animated girlfriend. And my animated crush too. Sprig, he's amazing! Hop Pop, he looks really cool. Polly, she is so cute and adorable, and her bow is very cute. The rest of the characters look really amazing, and the music scores are awesome. Season 1 is an amazing introduction to the show. Season 2, even better than the first one. So, including the action scenes, are really epic. And that's why I put Amphibia for my number one favorite Disney show of all time, and as well as the best show of all time. And tell me, what is your favorite Disney animated shows of all time? So let me know down below in the comment section. And stay tuned, for tomorrow is my review on Tron. If you want to see more videos to my YouTube channel, Click subscribe, click the notification bell, whatever you want. Thanks for watching, and this video is pretty long, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and goodbye!